Okay, um, today I'm going to focus on animated tiles. As you see on the screen, I completely redid the scene. The main thing about this video is the fire. Now, how did I get it animated? Now those are actually painted on with the 2D tile map editor um, that I showed you how to use in the last video. Now this video we're gonna show, I'll show you how to get it to work Get them to animate how to adjust the size of the fires you see i got two different sizes video i know i said i was going to do 2d lighting for this video but the next video will focus on 2d lighting now that i got fire in it all right so uh sit back and relax and uh hope you enjoy the video all right so in order to animate a tile and then be able to paint with it we need to download something from the unity's github account i will add the link in the description so all you need to do is download this folder. All right, so we're going to download it to a zip file. And all you want to do is you click and drag it into your main asset folder. Once it's done being transferred into your assets folder, all you need to do is you click, you right click, go to create tiles, and then you have all these new uh, types of tiles that you can create. We're going to create the animated tile. All right, so once once it's created, all you gotta do is you click on it and number of animated. So let's go six, hit enter, and it's gonna ask us for um, the sprites and they play them in this order. And then it's gonna say our right, minimum speed. All right, what's the minimum speed that you want this animation to play? What's the maximum speed you want it to play? How the start time is? How long do you want to wait until it starts? And then the collider types if you're going off of the individual sprite or if, sprite sorry or if you're going off the grid i think i had mine down as grid because we're painting with them okay so now we don't have any tiles that we can animate so um there's another asset pack on this asset store that i want to use it's by the same guy um i'll put a link in the description to where you can get it um, I'm not going to go grab it from the asset store. I already downloaded it. So I have it here. And all you got to do is you click and drag. Similar to how we got the 2D extras downloaded. Okay, so now that we have our tiles, now we got we to gotta add them to our new animation. So I'm going to change our... Um, animation name we're going to name this to uh, fire or flame and we're going to go into our we're going to lock this we're going to go to our 2d hand painted tiles dungeon and tile maps and he's got this fire one right here so he's got a um, at 64 and an at 128 so we're going to open that and here are our sprites that we're going to use so here so all we got to do is click and drag them in there. Now we want to add this to our tile palette. So we're going to open our window. So we're going to window 2D tile palette. And we're going to bring it. We're going to drag it down. Bring, okay, now we're just going to bring it down into here. That way it's out of the way. We're going to go to our project. Actually, no, sorry. We're going to go to our, we're going to create a new one. So we're going to go create new new palette. We're going to call this animated fire and create. And remember, we created a tile palette folder, and we're going to go into that folder. I'm going to select it, and now we have. I got to bring this up here for a second, so I can drag and drop. Now we're going to go to our assets, and all we're going to do is we're going to click on our fire animated tile, and we're going to drag it in there, and there she is. And we're going to bring it back down here, so it's out of the way. And I'll just let me drag one in there quick. So we're going to go onto our grid, and we're going to above, and we'll paint with our fire. And there it is. Now, if we hit play, it'll animate slowly because of our speed now oh there it goes see now it's playing very slowly so now we can mess with our speed a little bit so let's go to our project our fire and let's uh let's give it a five and 
hit play. Getting better, getting better. Now let's bring it up to let's say eight. Okay, still a little. Well, let's let's bring it up to ten, and I think that'll be good. I think. All right, and there you go. Now you have a uh, painted on animated tile. You know, the problem is it's a little big. So how do we fix that? We can go to our tile palette. We click on, we go to edit, and we select our flame. Now we have our position, our rotation, and our scale. Now let's bring this down to 0.5 and get out of edit. And now let's paint with it. See, it's a little bit smaller, as much as what we wanted. And a, a fun little thing you can do here, if you go to edit, say you have, uh, okay, let's see, what what is this? Uh, thing have for oh wait I think it automatically created one dungeon okay it did all right so let's see okay so it has a torch so let's let's select our torch oh my god edit on select our torch and we're gonna make one here and I think we're gonna have to cut make a couple here so we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna make a couple torches here one two one that one and we're one two and three duplicate our torches but now they're all facing the same direction so let's just change our rotation a little bit our on our z axis let's go 90 and then 180 and then 270 should give us all four angles okay and now we're going to paint with them Oh, get out of edit. And got a torch here. Let's put a torch there. Delete that one. And put a torch here. Now we're going to go to our fire, our animated fire, and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to go to edit. We're going to make copies of them. And then we're going to rotate them. So this one's going to be. 90, 180, and 270, 2740, and we're going to paint with them quick, so we're going to go, it's a little big, oh, didn't want to, oh, I'm still on edit, that's why, you got always got to pay attention to the buttons you got selected here, so now, I wonder, yeah, okay. So now let's go back to edit and we gotta change the sides. And let's try uh point two five. Just copy that. A little easier. Can you copy though just the scale? No. You can copy components or uh, values in a component, but it copies everything. But I don't know if you can do it on this. There's no real component I can click on. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to get out of edit and paste our fire. Now, see, it looks like a decent size, but the problem is it's a little, it's a little low. Go back to our edit, but this time we're going to change our our position on the Y. We're going to give it a 0.5 and a do the same on this one. No, go to our X, give it a 0.5, what happens? Does it go the right direction? No, it doesn't. So we're going to go negative 0.5, and you are going to go a negative 0.5. You will be a 0.5. Oh, on the X, not the Y. There is zero. Now we go back to our painting, and oh, we're on a, we got to create another, because I painted those on ground. All right, but. I could probably just put those on ground. So go back to our dungeon and we'll, we'll race them. Now it looked like uh, I'm going to be getting rid of my water. So I will have to make another one. And that's 
how you create animated tiles. Now, if you bear with me, I'm going to make this scene a little prettier. Our scene is complete and ready for the next video. Um, the next video I'm going to add 2D lighting. So all the, the fire will be um, actually light points. Thanks for watching. If, if you liked the video, um, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Um, I do have more videos planned for this series. And uh, if, it gets, if it catches on, maybe I'll do a 3D series. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions or questions, um, please let me know in the comments um, if you have any thing that you want me to look up or do a tutorial on again uh, please post it in the comments and uh, I will get to it as fast as I can but again thank you